congratulations on bringing a new canine family member into your home. The Good Dog in a Box Welcome Home program is designed to set you and your dog up for success. We're going to give you a plan of action to help you and your dog adjust to life together using science-based, family-friendly training methods. Let's get started. These are the top 10 essential items that you're going to need to have on hand for your new dog. And number one is a collar with identification tag. And this is something that you're going to want to get ahead of time so that when you bring your dog home, you've already got this so that you can put it on your dog and immediately have your identification on them at all times. Number two is we like the Halty harness for leash walking. It gives you more control and it'll be a wonderful item for you to take on leash walks. Number three is a six foot leash. We like the six foot leash because it keeps your dog close to you. Uh, next, number four is going to be stainless steel bowls for food and water. I like stainless steel because they are easily cleaned and I clean my dog's bowls every day. Number five is food. So you want to have a high quality nutrient dense food and our recommendations are basically uh, things that have um, no corn, no wheat and no byproducts. There's a lot of really wonderful foods out on the market to choose from. Uh, number six is going to be a pet stain remover and you want to get something that's specifically designed for pet stains that has an enzyme in it that uh, breaks down um, organic compounds. Number seven is a taste deterrent. So there's several different taste deterrents on the market and this is something that you can spray on things in your home that you don't want your dog to put their mouth on. Uh, number eight is grooming supplies. So you're going to need to get um, some brushes to brush your dog coat and it's going to depend on um, what your dog's coat is like as to what kind of brush that they're, you're going to need to groom them with. And a nail trimmer. So a nail trimmer, uh, just something simple that you can have on hand so that you can be trimming your dog's nails regularly. Number nine is toys. And something like the Kong toy, food dispensing toys, things that you can use for retrieve in the house. And you're going to need to get uh, probably several of these, several different types of toys. So you figure out what your dog uh, likes and what they gravitate to, and you're going to want to have several of those on hand. Our last item, number 10, is a crate. So we love crates for containment. It helps uh, keep your dog um, contained when you can't supervise them. And it's really nice to have something soft for the dog to lie on inside the crate. And these are our top 10 essential items for you to have on hand for your new dog. Crate training is one of the easiest ways to help your new dog be successful in your home. Crates provide a den-like, safe space to contain your dog when you aren't home or aren't able to supervise them. Crates should be large enough that your dog can stand up, turn around, and lay down comfortably. Crates help with house training routines and manage dogs that are going through excessive chewing phases. We always want the crate to be a positive space, so giving your dog food dispensing toys in the crate is a great way to help them like the crate. Help your good dog be successful by providing them with a crate. There are several tried and true rules for house training success. The first rule is supervision, supervision, supervision. Especially during the first few weeks, you need to have your eyes on your dog at all times. If you can't supervise your dog, they should be in their crate. Second is knowing when you take the dog outside. Don't rely on your dog to tell you when they should have to go. Ideally, we want to be near the potty area when your dog's bowel and bladder are full. The most likely times are when they wake up from a nap, after playing or exercising, and after eating. Eating especially stimulates the digestive tract, so you know that your puppy will have to go after they eat. Third, we have to make it more rewarding to go outside than inside. Have special treats on you so that you can reward your dog generously when they complete successes outside. Don't reward them when you get inside. You always want the reward to come immediately after the success outside. Help your good dog be successful by following these rules for house training success. You can help your pup adjust to life in your home by providing a consistent feeding routine. 
Be sure to feed your dog a high quality food without fillers such as corn, wheat, or byproducts. What goes in must come out. So if your dog is eating at the same times each day, they will be on a predictable schedule for trips outside for house training. The best schedule for most dogs is a morning meal and an evening meal. Just be sure that you plan to take your dog outside to their potty area afterwards. Eating a meal stimulates the digestive tract, so a trip outside after meals is a necessity for most dogs. Help your dog be successful by having them on a consistent feeding routine. Look at your environment from your dog's perspective. Dogs will want to investigate with their mouths, so unless you want a dog mouth on your possessions, get everything valuable and unsafe out of your dog's reach. One particular spot of interest is the kitchen. Be sure you're not inviting a potential counter surfing habit by keeping food away from counter edges. Your dog can't tell the difference between their toy and your shoes, so help them by removing your shoes from their level. Close closet doors, drawers, and keep a lid on your garbage and laundry baskets. You can also use a taste deterrent to make your things less appealing to your dog. You may need to manage the space with baby gates or crate your dog when you aren't with them, so your dog does not have the ability to roam through the house unsupervised. Help your good dog be successful by dog-proofing your home. You can help your new pup adjust to life in your home by providing a consistent routine of exercise. Every dog benefits from physical exercise, but size, age, and breed help determine how much is adequate for your dog. What was your dog's breed or breed mix bred to do? If your dog is hyper, destructive, and running circles around your living room, you may want to increase their physical exercise and find activities that satisfy their instincts and drives. Exercise can include leash walks, playing in a fenced yard, and playing games inside such as retrieve. Help your good dog be successful by having them on a consistent exercise routine. You can help your new pup adjust to life in your home by providing a consistent routine of rest. Downtime is just as important as exercise and proper feeding, and one of the most important skills your dog can acquire is being able to be away from you. Your dog will need a space of their own, preferably in a quiet area, away from the hustle and bustle of activity. This should include a soft bed and may also include a crate. You can help your dog settle into their rest area by giving them something to work on, such as a stuffed Kong. Be sure to provide a trip outside to their potty area, since waking up is usually a time when dogs eliminate. Help your good dog be successful by having them on a consistent routine of rest. An essential part of your dog being able to live successfully in the world is learning about other dogs. It is important especially for puppies and young dogs to have a wide variety of positive social experiences with other dogs. The best places can be force-free, family-friendly dog training classes. If you see your dog seeming shy or skittish in social situations with new dogs, slow down and let them approach gradually on their own. Verbally praise and offer a high-value treat after they approach on their own. Dog parks may not be the best place to start, as many dogs can be overwhelmed in dog parks. An essential part of your dog being able to successfully live with humans is learning that meeting new people is enjoyable and safe. It is important especially for puppies and young dogs to have a wide variety of positive social experiences with new and different people of different age groups. Meeting new people should be a part of your routine, as long as your dog is comfortable. If you see your dog seeming shy or skittish in social situations, slow down and let them approach gradually on their own. Verbally praise and offer a high-value treat after they approach. Don't force an interaction or lure your dog with food. Allow them to approach on their own and then be rewarded. Pay particular attention that your dog is not overwhelmed by children and that all interactions with children are actively supervised by an adult. Never allow your dog to be alone with children, even your own. It's also a great idea to practice with hats, sunglasses, and coats. An essential part of your dog being able to successfully live with humans is learning that things they encounter in the world are enjoyable and safe. 
It is important especially for puppies and young dogs to have a wide variety of positive experiences with new and different things, like household items, appliances, and loud noises. Exposure to new things should be a part of your routine, as long as your dog is comfortable. If you see your dog seeming shy or skittish, slow down and let them approach gradually on their own. Verbally praise and offer a high-value treat after they approach. Don't force an interaction or lure your dog with food. Allow them to approach on their own, then be rewarded. It's also a great idea to practice having your dog walk on different types of surfaces and different types of flooring. An essential part of your dog being able to successfully live with humans is learning that different places are enjoyable and safe. It is important especially for puppies and young dogs to have a wide variety of positive social experiences with new and different places around your home and around your town. Taking your dog to different places should be a part of your routine, as long as your dog is comfortable. If you see your dog seeming shy or skittish, slow down and let them adjust gradually on their own. Verbally praise and offer high-value treats for walking with you. Don't force your dog into an interaction or lure your dog with food. Allow them to adjust on their own, then be rewarded. It's also a great idea to practice in places that allow dogs, such as pet stores, your veterinarian's office, and pet-friendly stores. Help your dog learn house manners and use up their mental and physical energy by using mealtime constructively. Instead of putting the food in a bowl and watching it disappear, carry the bowl around from room to room, having your dog practice sitting, laying down, and giving you eye contact. Practice for five minutes in several different rooms, and whatever food is left over after practice, put in a food dispensing toy. Put your dog in their crate with the toy and give them some puppy time alone. Help your good dog be successful by using meal time as mental exercise time. If you're following the rules of house training success, then mistakes should be minimal. Most mistakes can usually be traced back to human error. Who was supposed to be watching the dog? Was he taken out immediately after eating? If you do find a mistake, don't waste your energy getting upset with your dog. Clean it up with a pet stain remover, review your house training plan, and figure out how you can help your dog be more successful next time. Keep a log of the successes and mistakes, which can help you track your dog's routine and solve potential issues. If your dog is having a mistake every day at 3 p.m., or every time one of your family members is supposed to be supervising, that will help you resolve the problem. Help your good dog be successful by following these rules for house training success. Imagine being a dog in a new home with humans. You don't know the language, you don't know the rules, and you're probably confused. Learning the rules for living with humans should be an experience that builds your relationship so that your dog learns that trusting you and listening to you are always the right choices. Setting your puppy up for success with the Good Dog in a Box Welcome Home program will help minimize problems, but it is important to always be patient and kind. If your dog makes a mistake or does something that you don't like, it's important that you don't blame them. Reprimanding your dog by yelling or punishing them physically often leads to more confusion and does nothing to actually resolve issues. Don't just say no. Think about how you can change the situation next time so that your dog is successful or better understands what you want them to do. If you're having problems resolving issues or if your dog is showing signs of stress or fear-based behaviors, contact a science-based, force-free dog training professional for assistance. We hope our Good Dog in a Box Welcome Home program helps you and your dog get started on a successful life together. Thanks for watching, and check out our website for more resources. Good luck!